Hello, Paul here from EMD Automotive. I've got a Audi Q7 CRCA motor with the actual uh, V6 diesel, 3 litre diesel engine. <coughs> There's only two types um, of diesel when it comes to the Audi family, Volkswagen family, and the Porsche family. Um, they use this one with the high pressure pump at the front, that's Gen 1, and Gen 2 with the high pressure pump at the actual middle, right there. So this is a Gen 2. I've done a video on the actual Touareg. That was Gen 1. Alright, I've done the pump with that car there. So this is the actual pump I got. I've got no high pressure fuel pump. Uh, pressure. Sorry, I've got no pressure. All I've got is 6 bar, which is the actual low pressure. And when I crank the engine, I've got engine speed. I've got everything except the actual pressure increasing. Uh, so <clears throat> it can be... A, I've got a... Uh, Replace the pump first, that's what I'm going to go, and I'll, if you've got an injector problem, the pressure will, will take take a long time to actually, probably extended time to actually crank the engine, but the pressure will still build up, alright? But if you've got no build up after cranking the engine for like 30 seconds, then you've got a uh, high pressure fuel issues, alright? There's no other actual, well, the fault was locked, it was just low, uh, fuel pressure too low on this one, alright? So everything's going to come, everything's going to come out, including the turbos on top. Um, intercooler, sorry, not intercooler, oil cooler at the bottom, the, the actual um, right there, it's got to come out, the vacuum line, control valve, all those stuff's got to come off for you to do the actual job, all right, including the fuel lines. Okay, so I'm, I'm here now, so I'm going to replace the top plate, remove the top plate there, so I can look at the actual, um, have a look at the actual the pump, uh, so I can remove it out. So you gotta remove all these parts here, including the turbos. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check the turbo later. So I'm gonna check that. Gotta, I'll check that later. But for now, we'll leave it there. Um, yeah. This is a uh, video one. I'll do video two. I'll remove this out. There's a few special tools you need as well uh, to move the uh, move the crank. It's a tool that go in there to move that, so you can actually move the crank off. So you can put a pin on top of here. Put a pin inside there, then goes that way to hold the sprocket before you take it out. All right. Whatever you do, do not remove the pump without taking the that top cover off and putting the pin through the sprocket. Okay. This is video one. I'll just quickly do a little quick video and then we'll go from there. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.